We cast Sakama. Yeah, we resolved that. Now we cast Nif Mizzet Reborn. Yep. And this. Did we win? I think we win, yeah. So now we just need to... Pass the turn. To us and win! BAM! That's an awesome, awesome game, man. Awesome win. This deck is insane. I love it. Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Lenny and you're watching Lenny TV and today I have a very, very, very special... It was supposed to be a Christmas uh, holiday theme deck and it is kinda. Because we have some celebration cards in it, you can gift your opponents all the cards they want and then still win. It is a pretty meme janky deck but it is actually pretty strong. The win win condition, win condition is happily ever after. And if you have never seen that card, I don't blame you. No one plays it. <laughs> but in Brawl with Kenrith, it is a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. There was some deck list I found on Aetherhub. It inspired me to build this deck. I will link uh, the original guy, the Twitter and his original deck list. Then I refined the list with one of my friends. Um, and now it is really strong. And I want to present it to you. <laughs> uh, before we get into that... There's only one thing I want to say. We are almost at 500 subs and that's awesome. I'm really thankful. It, it was a an amazing year creating on YouTube for the past half a year. It's really awesome. I'm, I'm really uh, like proud of what I achieved. Like 500 subs, almost 500. That's insane. Thank you for everyone that's watching. Thank you for everyone that's playing and enjoying the decks I built. And I wish you guys an awesome, awesome holiday season. Like some time to relax with your family, maybe kids. Um, some time to relax with your girlfriend or with your relatives. I don't know. Whatever you are into. Just uh, enjoy your life. Have some awesome time. And uh, I hope this deck, if you have the cards, will, will give you some joy. Because this deck is a little bit of a masterpiece, in my opinion. So let's check it out together. And let's jump right into it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's go! Alright everyone, we are in the deck builder and look at this beauty. Look at it. I have tweaked this deck a little bit over the past few days. I had some help from an awesome guy that builds Brawl decks every day. Can you imagine that? That is insane. Or almost every day. <laughs> I mean, he is a human as well. You, you cannot build something every day, man. That's, that's just exhausting. But uh, he, he does some awesome decks and some awesome reviews and you should check him out. He inspired this deck and I will link his Twitter and his original deck list down below. Or maybe we will post it in the comments, I don't know. You will see. Um, but yeah, this guy inspired this deck, I built it and I have tweaked it with a friend of mine. His name is Quist. I've played some games with him and I will include two. We played a lot more. And we recorded some really awesome games, but sadly I have um, messed up the audio somehow. <laughs> so we don't have these games. Uh, they, The other games that we have recorded ha have to make do here. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's just get into this deck. And this deck was originally supposed to be a happy holiday Christmas themed deck. And that's because we have the plain white celebration in here and the happily ever after. We are celebrating Christmas and holidays and that we don't have to work for the next or the next few days, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, um, so I'm gonna explain how this deck's supposed to work. You wanna generate a lot of mana just like the Golos deck I showcased. If you missed that, you can check that, that one out. I will not put a notification on top, just click on my channel and search it. Um, we have... Um, some early ramp cards in the form of Gilded Goose, Land of Elves, Incubation, Paradise Druid, the familiar, um, Once Upon a Time, Grove Spiral, Ar Arcane Signet, the Sword Tooth, the Elder, uh, the Chromatic Lantern, the Root, the, and the Escape to the Wilds. And all of these cards are essentially in here to help us ramp, 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 ramp. We want a lot of mana as quickly as possible. 
we want to fill our graveyard as much as possible as well. Because, or the cards that help us do that are, um, of course, this is a free card in the graveyard, um, just like this. Um, but there is also Ashok. You can target yourself, so you put the top four cards into your graveyard, that's great. Tamio, same thing. Um, because we want to thin out the deck to get to Nexus, but also to chance, we want to find Chance for Glory as well. These are extra turn spells, but we want to find Lich's Mastery as well. So these are the top five, top three cards you want to find um, in this deck. You can put Muldrofa in the graveyard, Lich's Mastery, doesn't matter. It only loses you the game if it leaves from the battlefield. Um, so no problem there. Uh, Sakama. And the way this deck works is you have all this mana, right? You cannot lose the game. You draw your blah, blah, blah. And you put Kendriff on the field. You can revive Muldrofa or Lich's Mastery from the graveyard because it's a permanent. You can put um, Muldrofa on the battlefield and Muldrofa can let you play Lich's Mastery. Everything that that puts stuff into the graveyard. Um, so we have a crazy recycling engine in this deck. Um, of course we have some really powerful... That's also ramp card, by the way. Golos finds your land. But also if you manage to activate Golos and then cast Sakama and Nexus of Fate or something crazy, that's probably an auto win. But there is also Nif Mizzet. Uh, time Wipe. Some Board Wipes, of course. Time Wipe, Kaios Wrath. We have some weird draw spells in here, and that's because we want to win with Happily Ever After. This is our main win condition in this deck, and for that we need all of the card types among permanents, six different types among permanents. We need 25 or more life. Um, the card is uh, specified with equal or greater than your starting life, so in Brawl you need 25 or more. Um, And of course you need five different colors among permanents you control. So that can be one Nif Mizzet, or it can be Sakama and Muldrofa, or it can be one of these citizen tokens, which look awesome and beautiful, by the way. Um, and yeah, we have some um, different uh, types among permanents. We have 11 creatures. Six instants, six sorceries, four artifacts, four enchantments, four planeswalkers, and 25 lands. So you see, it's really well balanced. And the way this deck works is you want to either wipe the board to stay alive, or you want to root snare, get it back with Tamio, root snare, get it back with Tamio, Nexus of Fate, shenanigans. Um, but it is one of the most fun decks you will ever experience in Historic Brawl, I think. Um, and yeah, that's the deck. I'm going to showcase it a little bit more so you can understand it better. But this deck rocks. It is awesome. So without further ado, let's jump right into the awesome games that will come right now. Alright, we are playing against Quist. This is our first opponent. The game just had a <laughs> freak out there. I don't know if you <laughs> heard that audio there. But uh, yeah, I like this hand. It has no really fast ramp. But it has, oh, it has one ramp. I'm lying. But it's not fast at all because these are all tapped and stuff. We are gonna try it nonetheless. But for some reason... Every card is making the exiled noise from Ashok. Oh, now it stopped. Um... Yeah, this is pretty slow. We're gonna start off with a Skanta here. Next turn we can ramp a little bit. Alright, what is happening here? Arcane Signet. Oh my, that's really good for Quist here. We're gonna put that into the graveyard, I think. Um, alright, so now we can shock in the fountain. Put that into the battlefield, and we can play the incubation druid. It was a little bit of delayed ramp there, but uh, ramp is ramp, nonetheless. 
This counter is going to help us uh, finding another land from the top here. And we are hoping for a red source of mana. Because then we can play Golos or or just an untapped source of mana. That would be great. Um, no. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, plus... Oh... I think we keep this, because this card is just so good. Um, we drop Golos here. We find a red source of mana. Command tower, best... Um, land we can get here. Alright, I mean still... We are somewhat behind, because the... The Ugin can generate a lot of value. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to find or create some value with Ugin here. And has enough mana to play Raska. Golos gone. Um, yeah. We are definitely trying to catch up here. We are not in a leading position at all. Um, yeah. We keep the Arcane Signet on top. We play the Arcane Signet, we play the Escape to the Wilds. Um, Alright. Um, so we drop both of these lands. I mean, next turn, we can go off, we can start go off. We have Lich's Mastery and Chance for Glory. So we can basically get these two down for free, right? One, two, three black sources of mana. This can create black as well. Red, we need red. One, two, three black sources. Then this is red. I think we need to manually tap, but it should be possible. Should be possible. Maybe we can do it. Maybe. Maybe we can. Oh my lord! Um, we are in trouble. We are 100% in trouble. We are not able to do anything here about the damage. Um. Let's put that into the graveyard. Alright. So, we have some white. Um... We can just do it like this, right? We take an extra turn. We can play Ashok. I wonder what you fear. We can plus Ashok. I leave you we can even play Kenrif now. That's really good. Let's play Kenrif now. Alright, we... Keep that. Transform that. Uh, we drop the mastery. Oh, why didn't... Oh, we dropped the Kenrif instead of... Um, the... Yeah, we need to draw some cards here. Yeah, I want to draw some cards. You can put something onto the battlefield. But is it enough? I don't think so. There is a time wipe. So there is one, two, three. So that means we cannot play the. <laughs> My brain is overloaded, man. But I'm pretty sure we cannot play. 
anything here. Alright. I mean... And maybe we survive somehow. Um... Let's gain some more life. Draw some more cards. And let's scry one. I mean, yeah, realistically there is no way we can survive this, right? I don't see a way. That's a lot of damage. For sure. Oh, it's not that bad. It's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 13, 16. 16! It's only 16. Oh, no, it's 20. Um, we could do this somehow. 21 to be exact. He will attack with everything. Yep, yep. Um. So I have to exile 21. Um. This is really annoying. I don't know why it goes away all the time. Um, but uh. We will exile, nonetheless, our entire graveyard. Yeah, maybe we can work with this. Um. So this is taking a long time. Yep. So did we select everything here? All right, 18. 19. 20 and 21. So we stay alive, somehow. Um. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Um. All right. Okay. Um. We don't want to exile everything we have again. But I want to draw my whole deck now. So let's try that. Do we have enough mana for Nexus? We might... Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 buddy! Alright, let's... Let's mill this. Now it's only Nexus. Um... Yeah, let's discard. Artifact. Planeswalker. Um... Sorcery. Is there an instant somewhere? I don't know actually. Let's discard some more lands. Uh, mate, this is crazy. Yeah, let's not discard Tamio. Tamio is just too good. We don't need the board wipe, right? No, we will not discard that. 
Oh my god, how much stuff do I need to discard? Alright, can we do it now? I don't actually know. Maybe we can. Four colors and one permanent. Alright, now we need a permanent with all colors. Like the phases of the moon. Um, for that we need the flame by celebration. The storied past holds our future. Um pass oh yeah I see it's coming um, Nexus and gain life gain life gain life citizen <coughs> good game and now we will just pass the turn and we win Everything is ticked off and there is the happily ever after win man. What a clutch game. I Would have never thought that we live through this gigantic attack and win never ever would I have thought that Good game, man All right rematch against Quist We survived the crazy attack from Quist last game Um yeah, I'm not feeling this. I'm feeling this hand, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, First turn. Fabled Passage. Yeah. We're gonna get uh, the chapel here. Gonna crack this. For... A forest... Yeah, forest. Then we are gonna pay two. We're gonna drop search for Skanta first. Man, I love this enchantment slash land. Gen in general, these Ixalan lands were the most amazing things ever. Yeah, we keep. Uh, the swamp so I'm gonna ramp with the incubation druid as well let's drop the isolated chapel all right all right man I really love this deck this deck is so much fun um, all right a Chani coming down that's really good, uh, because it's ramping uh, a lot. Actually, it's uh, ramping a, l a ton. Um, let's play Ashok here and start filling up our graveyard. Let's, let's drop the familiar as well. I mean... My opponent has a lot of mana right now. We can adapt for free mana. Now. Problem is. That we have no real payoff for all the mana we have now. We would need something to... Accelerate us even more. We can flip a Skanta. Meaning we have six mana next turn. Or a, a seven, to be honest. Because we can drop uh, one of these in our hand as well. So something for seven mana would be awesome. Garruk coming down. Garruk can ult right away, by the way. That's insane, right? That will be a Garak ult. How awesome is that? Instant Garak ult. Yeah, that's a good payoff. Transform. Um, let's drop Golos here. Um, let's search a land. 
Um, let's take one that scries. I mean, chance for glory is really good. But I don't think we need that card right now. We're gonna st continue milling. Can we adapt? No. We're just uh, not gonna attack or block or do anything. Yeah, now we have to hope that we survive somehow. And find something that can win us the game. I am banking on Golos activations, to be honest, right now. So let's hope for the best. Nexus of Fate is still in the deck. Um, there is Time Wipe still in the deck. Yeah, Kefis will hit the field now. And there is a Raska. Oh no. Raska will get rid of Golos, so... That was our last hope. And my opponent will gain some life as now, well. Do you see the benefits of peace? Of course, benefits of peace are awesome. So we can bring back Golos, right? Because this only costs three. So let's do that. <clears throat> and we will scry again. Yep, we want that. There is the pause. Um, we're not gonna mill everything into my graveyard, so uh, let's mill our opponent then. I leave you with. I always return. Yeah, we could actually kill. Um, a Johnny. No, let's just pass. I don't think this is smart. Let's just pass. Raska can kill Golos again. But that's not worth because we can just revive Golos for free mana. Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty good. We have the pause in our upkeep, we want Moltrofo for free, so I'm banking on another Golos activation. If we get the Golos activation, we can play Moltrofo for free. And from there, we can play our whole uh, graveyard. Uh, except instants and sorceries. Alright, I really like the status now. I mean... There is a lot of mana on the other side of the field, but... I think we are fine. Yeah, there is Kaya. Kaya can exile stuff from the graveyard, so Kaya has to go. I, like a good fight. Notice I, didn't say I don't like Kaya at all. Mm, now everything gets a loyalty counter. To fight. Um, I think Golos will die again though, yeah, he will. Alright. I mean, that's okay. So we won't need to stop anymore. Oh, now he exiles Golos. <laughs> what a smart man. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so no stop. <laughs> we don't need to stop anymore. Um, and let's just draw a Moldrow for them. Really smart to exile the board wipe alongside um, Golos there. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna block here. <laughs> there is a temporal gateway as well. Oh man. Alright. So... We can gain some life. I have to pray that we stay alive for somehow. All right, we can adapt here. Then we can drop Muldrofa. We can cast the land, so we will do that. You can even cast a planeswalker. You can cast an artifact as well. Let's get the wish claw. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so bad. I mean, was it bad? We can tutor now. I want this. Let's just fill up the graveyard. Yeah, 21 life. We might survive the attack. So this is 14 trampling. Yeah, 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 we might survive it somehow. Um, or maybe not. We actually might not survive it. That's 7. 12, 18. Yeah, we need to block a lot of that damage. Um, so with this we can prevent some damage right but is it enough that's only 11 I don't actually know how much damage we need to prevent so that's 14, 21, and then 11. So that's 11. So we need to block with everything. All right. Yeah, I think we, we calculated it right. Yeah. So that was the two life that we had. That was a gigantic attack. Alright, Muldrofa and the Biomancer is gone. Take no prisoners. That's really bad. Ooh, that's really good though. That is really good. 
Let's uh, mill ourselves some more. Now we have another turn here. No attacks, because it doesn't matter. Alright. Can we do anything here? Um, we can drop Kenriff here. We can create free white mana to draw five cards. Let's see if we draw something here. I mean, it's something, but I don't know if it will help us survive. There is a Tamio. Tamio could help us win. Samio can help us win. We need to maximize how much cards we draw and have in our hands and put in our graveyard. Because this one will be a real rough one. I'm not gonna lie. Yep. We need to discard free. So that could gain us some health. Alright, so with this setup, we could survive somehow. We have seven cards in our hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can only do six here and 21 in the graveyard. So that's 28, and then we can prevent 5, maybe? No. Alright, this attack will hurt. This attack will hurt so bad. Oh, no. The Relic Seeker here. The happily ever after gone. Now I think there is no way of me getting that back. Um, is there a way to win? Left. Oh. Alright, the first seven cards. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. The rest will hurt so bad. So bad. Nineteen god twenty-five permanence. Are you kidding me? This will take an hour. Alright. We're slowly working our way through here. Um, and we will exile everything here. The crazy thing is... We can still win, maybe, with Nexus of Fate. And that just shows how... How strong that card is. Alright, let's start up from the bottom. Oh no, I des <laughs> I, I deselected the land I already selected. Alright, now the... All the pieces are, are gone that uh, helped me revive my stuff. Muldrofa is gone. Uh, basically my whole deck is gone because I need to exile all of it. Um... So we selected everything here. We want that. 
Now we need five more. So that's gonna be one, two, three. Four. Five. I mean, we still live somehow at minus 19 life. Your sordid history is coming back to. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my. I didn't see the Kaya! I was like calculating everything up. Oh man, good game, Chris. That was insane! No! Now, Lich's Mastery can backfire. <laughs> As you can see, it's spectacular. Alright, we are playing against Harm Twins, and he is playing an Arcadis deck. That is awesome! All right, we are going to keep this one. Ooh, turn one ramp. The goose, goose, goose. Into the turn two ramp. It seems like my opponent is missing. Oh, but he has. I mean, does he play Counterspell? If he does, good job. If not, hell yeah. Oh, there is Arcadis. So I want this. And we need to All right, and this. All right, so then it will only be like that. We can make a food, right? Uh oh. That's a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, yeah, he draws. Whenever you, a creature enters spell into your control that has defender, draw a card. Arcadis is really strong, but my opponent has to be careful. We have Golos on the field. Another draw. I mean, with two cards, can he deal with Golos? No, he cannot with one card. Oh, and summon. And summon is a possibility. I mean, we need to board wipe here. Yeah, we need to preserve some life, so. Um, let's do that. And let's put that into the graveyard, actually. I mean, I want to activate Golos for some reason. Let's go for it! <laughs> Ooh! I mean, Lich's Mastery is not a good card to play here. It is actually the worst card ever. Yeah, this will not work. This will not work at all. <laughs> Um, this will not work at all. Oh my god, I see myself dying. I see myself dying so bad. Yeah, I mean, if it's only this, we are fine. 
Wait a second. What is happening? Let me assign blockers. All right. But I I think there might be coming a tower defense or something. Free. I can deal with free. So that's one, two, three. So we cannot take any more damage. This might be okay, actually. This might actually work out. For some weird reason that I don't understand at all. I, I We will board wipe for sure next turn. Yes, please. I mean, he has all of his mana open. How does it even work? That's... that's fine. That's actually really good for us. Yeah. Hell yeah. Give me that. Oh, it's enters tapped. I mean, still. We will do this. And then we will do this. Into this. Yeah. We are fine. We don't lose the game because Lich is mastery. And next turn we can bring back the chance for glory. The chance for glory with Bond of Insight. And so that will be Wait. insane. Is kind? High alert. That was a really slow turn for my opponent. Graveyard. Yes, please. Yes. Please. Graveyard. Transform. All right. Land. Draw a card. Grove spiral. Yeah, we put that in. I mean, how much do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight, so with eight, there we should be three left. And with three, we can gain five life. Oh no. I always forget about that. Let's uh, exile the talisman. And the fabled passage. And then we play Kenrith. Gain five life. We didn't lose the game, thankfully. But man, this synergy is awesome. This synergy is giving me goosebumps. The mysteries of life are endless. I mean, our opponent just needs to have <laughs> cleansing Nova and I'm dead. Alright. So, what do we do here? I think we just draw a lot of cards.
Yeah, I don't know. Let's just draw a lot of cards. This is awesome. This is 100% awesome. Just a pure awesomeness. We can even smack Vivian here. Because now Kenriff doesn't matter at all anymore. But just wait for the next turn. Oh, flash because... Oh my god. Why didn't he block? I guess my opponent misplayed there for some reason. Um... I mean, that's really good against him. Elf has to be the choice here. Elder. Oh my god, how many cards do I need to discard here? A lot! I am scared. Now, the biggest thing here is, if he can damage me with, uh, like, a ton of stuff. Yeah, five. Five is enough. Five is okay. Yeah, if it's only five, that's okay. Um, one. Two. Four and five. Next is a fate. <laughs> all right. I mean, that's all right as well. One, two, three, four, and Alright, that was a pretty strong turn for my opponent. But now we show him the true power of our deck. First, we cast this. Alright, then... We... In response, we tap this for some mana. We cast Sakama. Yeah, we resolve that. Now we cast Nif Mizzet Reborn. Yep. And this. Did we win? I think we win, yeah. So now we just need to... Pass the turn. To us and win! BAM! 
That's an awesome, awesome game, man. Awesome win. This deck is insane. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, our next one is Buffaloes. Six, six, six. Playing as Muldrofa. That is pretty strong. And really scary. This looks really bad. Oh my god, these starting hands are so bad. Alright. This might be a real rough game. We need to find some... Some more lands. If we manage to do that, we might be fine. Um, if we don't manage to do that, we are in, we are in a lot of trouble. That's a land. I mean, let's just start by playing this like that. Now, worst case, we can find land with the Wishclaw. Risen Reef is bad. That's bad. Thankfully, that's not a land. That's good. I mean, yeah. I want the land now. Or actually, we don't even need the land. I am your greatest fear. Oh, we cannot even. We should call Talisman now. Ashok is really good against Muldrofa, though. Alright, shocking in the Watery Grave. And the Chromatic Lantern entering. Alright, so only one damage to... Oh, that's so sad. Ashok is such, an, such a dick. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna drop the Biomancer's Familiar. And... I'm gonna mill some more cards, I guess. Behold. My That's really good. The... Like to is to yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. I wanna find... Nothing actually. Right now I'm quite fine. I'm just gonna react to what he's doing. I think that's way better. And milling my opponent is actually pretty strong. No. Milling would be really weak and really bad against Muldrofa. But milling and then exiling everything, that is insanely strong. So. Now it's, now it's correct. Alright. Right of Bells and Lock. What? I mean, I will just happily continue exiling stuff. Yeah, let's pay some life for that. Tamio is gone as well. Sucks so bad. I will uh, play Kenrith now. And I will put a plus counter on the incubation druid, giving me free mana. And then we can draw a card. And then we can plus and see what we get. 
All right. What is my strategy here? Nothing special. I'm gonna search for something now. Um, but what is the question? I mean, I want Lich Mastery here so bad. Let's just get it. Let's just have some fun here. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, I'm fine. Everything is fine. Let's go. Come on, put it into the graveyard. <laughs> nope, I thought so. Um, I think he doesn't like Ashiok. I mean, I would hate Ashiok in that, in this like scenario here. We can um, play Lich's Mastery and draw a lot of cards next turn. Pretty sure that's three, four, five, six, and then we can draw ten cards. <laughs> ten cards! If it doesn't deal with the, the board state, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, target creature and opponent controls. Doesn't untap. I mean, I don't care about untapping with it with Kenriff. Alright, let's attack here. I'm thinking he is pretty pissed on yeah, but no attackers here. We have even more mana. Alright, now just uh, watch this. Just watch this Let's go. I'm sorry. Got a little bit too hyped. Give me some card draw. Yep. Let me draw some cards. One, two, three, four, five. That is really good. Huh. Actually, let me draw some more cards. Yep. I'm satisfied. Let's mill my opponent for some more. Let's draw a card, discard a card. Mm, a quest Let's discard quest that. And that's it. That was a really powerful turn. We're not gonna attack here. And the turn four cards. Gaining some life, alright. Um, one, two. Four? Yeah, this is fine. This is totally fine. We have a really weird board set. I've never seen both of these sagas used at all, ever. In their entire lifetime, never. Um, but yeah. I guess my my creatures will be tapped down. That's a good choice. So he will deny us a lot of mana. There is a 6-6 six, six with flying, so... But it ha doesn't have haste, so we have one more turn where we can hold on to the root snare. 
meaning that uh, we are in no rush at all. My opponent will... Agent of Treachery. Alright. What will you steal, my friend? Really? Alright, he could ult. Yeah, he can ult here. And destroy... Got you outnumbered and outsmarted. Please just remove a creature. Just remove a creature, man. That's bad. That's really bad. I mean, we have to resolve that. Seven. Alright. I mean, it's not that bad. One. Two. Three. I mean, I'm not doing this. Um, I don't know why this is so annoying. Um, so that's five. So we are doing... Six, seven. Alright, that was a really good turn for my opponent, but uh... I think we got him from this point on. Alright, we can gain... we can draw a lot of cards here. We can try and go for the win right now. We just need something with red in its colors. They will be exiled, so no, don't forget that. Let's exile these two. Alright, the only thing that needs to happen is my opponent has no way of dealing non combat damage to me. And then we root snare. Then it's our turn again. We draw a whole deck and win. Return all tapped creatures to their owner's hand. Yep, that's fine. That is fine, that's completely fine. This is alright as well. Yeah, we have this one in our bags. Now I'm only scared of non-combat damage, so let's see what happens here. Yeah, this will be a crazy round. I can sense it. Alright, so what is happening? My opponent is really thinking about what he wants to do here. Yeah, he's looking at happily ever after. That is fine, but you're a dick, man. You are a dick. Indeed. He is. Alright.
Another zombie coming down. I mean, I feel like we we at least survived this round. That's good for us. Yeah, that's good for us. Oh, next the fate got revealed. All right. So let's pass to attackers here. Alright, now it's our turn. Let's get back the roots there and the Sphinx is inside. Let's try and get a basic land. Yes, there is one left. And now we can I mean, we could board wipe here. I think that's a good idea. Let's try and do that. Discard a card. Right. Incubation Druid, we have to go. Alright. So he can transform the Escanta, but... Uh, yeah, we are just waiting for... Chance for Glory or something like that. If we find Chance for Glory... There is Muldrofa. And Muldrofa is really strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, zombies are coming now. We need one more mana, then we can. Uh, seven, eight. Yeah, seven and two. That's nine. So we need one mana. If you find a mana now, that would be awesome. But we have a lot of cards already. Um, in our graveyard. But that is a mana. So this will be a masterpiece. This is a real masterpiece. Alright, now we pass. 11 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh no, I selected the Biomancer's Familiar. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be honest. We can just root snare again. Hopefully. And then we can just uh, replay um, the happily ever after. And then all we need is the chance for glory and we win. <coughs> and this is one happy citizen, if I may say so. I've never seen a citizen that is so beautiful and happy. I mean, and in this spirit, I wish you guys a happy holiday season. Have some fun, have some family greatness time, have some relaxing nights under the Christmas tree if you if you celebrate Christmas right now. I know there are people that do not. 
All right, I guess that will remove um, the five colored permanent. Yeah, I think we got this. We played the common next turn. And then we go for the happily ever after win. Oko. Oh no. I mean, if he targets my arcane signet, that would be really bad. He will target the Wish Claw Talisman. All right. Your new look is enchanting. <laughs> the zero one clerics. Uh, Root snare. So no damage will be done, and it's my turn now. You can play something. But then we will play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We will play the common next turn, boy, boy. Big boy. He can even Still remove the signet. The wilds are my shield. Yeah, the karma will bring him down. Yeah. Look at that good boy. Um We might be able to win from here. Just uh, get this back. I have learned much from my ancestors. Let's draw all the cards, including Chance for Glory. Now we play Chance for Glory. And we pass the turn. And that's the win, man! Yes! Alright, this deck is awesome. You need to play this one, it's really awesome. I wish you guys happy holidays, happy Christmas. Um, yeah, this deck is awesome. Play it. And without further ado, we will see us in the next one. Bye. Hey, Lenny here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash that bell, drop a like, and subscribe. Now I will leave you with a choice. The top video is my recommendation for you, and the bottom one is from YouTube. Now go check them out and tell me which one you enjoyed more.